So this video is going to be a continuation of the last video. This will be the last video in the Scraping Game Facts or Navigating uh, Website series. So the last video went on a lot longer than I expected, so I decided to split up the video. So this will be a continuation of um, the scraping the, the latest uh, Vita game releases. In this video, um, we will focus on extracting the Japanese portion and I've decided to leave out the European portion because it's pretty much the same thing as the Japanese portion. Yeah, so let's get started. Now comes the really difficult part. It was really annoying trying to extract everything from the uh, ja Japanese portion and the European portion. So let's just take a look. Alright, so the first thing we want to do is uh, we want to do find all next. So we're going to search for the string Japan and then we're going to find all of the tags and elements afterwards. So let's just uh, run this and you're going to see that there's no div each date and each uh, title they're not even included in within DLs anymore they're sort of all separated it's just rows of data there's no uh, container containing all this data unorganized rows of data just pushed together so yeah so let's just take a look okay this DL as you can see holds the title or the date but doesn't hold the uh, the DDs so before, the pattern that we were using before where there's a, the description list holds the DT and the DDs. Now for some reason they changed that. Um, they decided just to hold the date. So here, uh, the DL holds the date, but then it doesn't hold the DDs. Since we're uh, finding all the next, what it does is it uh, starts closing in on the container. We're going one step deeper, one step deeper. So from DL, we go one step deeper into the tree, which is the DT portion then it's the span portion. So we're essentially just uh, going one step, one step deeper and going through each of the tags within this uh, DL portion. And then there's DD which holds the uh, title and which also holds href. As you can see there's a comma, then we go into the href, the A in the href, and then we go to the next DD which holds another game and then we go to the, the ARF within this uh, DD. So we're going through all the games uh, DD, DD, there's a lot of games for this date and then once again we hit the DL and the DT which holds a date, DL, DT and then we have the games that are sort of separate. So as you can see it's not very well organized. Um, DL this time is only holding the dates and uh, the other problem is this J Japanese section doesn't have its own container because we continue going down and eventually it blends in with the European container, uh, European rows. Let me see, here we go, Europe. So, so it continues. This div is just holding this portion. And then the European portion starts. And once again, the European date. So if we pull out all the DL and DTs from, from here on forward, we're actually going to mix the European stuff and the um, Japanese stuff. So I'm going to uh, present to you the uh, hackish sort of way that I uh, was able to get all the Japanese uh, upcoming releases and titles. All right, so the first thing I did was um, I searched for all the headers because I knew the headers were holding the, um, the info about each country. So I know we had a header for North America, Japan, and Europe. So I uh, used a soup.select. Remember, this is a CSS selector. And as you can see, it pulls out all the headers. So there's a North American header, there's a Japanese header, and there's a European header. So what I did was, um, the next thing I did was I found, I used the Japanese header. So this is, um, oh wait, so this should be, let me see what this is. So this is the North American header, so let me go to the Japanese header. Okay, so what I did was I, uh, I uh, extracted the Japanese header, and then I kept using find next and extracting all the info. So find the next, if you click find next on this, it uh, pulls out the date. And then if I click find next on that, it's going to pull out the title. So find next on that, it's going to pull out the, uh, oh wait, it's just going to, it's actually going to go one layer deeper. So it's going to, instead of being DL, it's going to go to D, uh, DT, but then, uh, let's see. Running find next again is just going to go one layer, one layer deeper into this uh, span portion. So let's just run that. Okay, span. But after this, we should be getting the DD or the titles. Find next on that. And now we get the titles. And if we keep going through um, each of these rows one by one, 
So you go through one by one until we hit the keyword is European. So let me show you. Um, yeah, I guess find all next should uh, be okay. But we're going to go through all the games and then eventually once the games are done, uh, let me see, the games continue on, continue on until we hit Europe. So Europe is that keyword. Um, the last game here is going to be uh, to Heart to Dungeon Travelers, Aqua Price, I don't know what this is, anyway. But, and then after we hit that, the keyword that we want to avoid is the European. Once we hit Europe, like, we're done with the Japanese section. So we're going to iterate until we hit uh, Europe. And then we'll print everything out. We'll collect everything to a list, and then we'll sort of print everything out in a very clean way. All right, so let me just uh, get out of here. Uh, and I'm going to show you the loop that I use. So find next, find next eventually. Okay, so this, yeah, so this does, we don't need because I was just experimenting with some things. All right, so what I did was I created a list, okay, and then I, I assigned X to the soup.select header 3 Japan, which is essentially the Japanese, uh, uh, the, which is essentially the Japanese header. So let me just uh, run this again. So this is the uh, Japanese header. So what I did was I assigned um, X to the Japanese header, and then I'm going to continue running find next on X and assign X to the new find next. Um, as long as the string, in this case we have to use string, we have to turn the, um, because remember these are elemental tags. These are not string objects, these are, um, let me see, these are elemental, uh, element tag ob objects, element tag objects, BS4. So we have to convert this into a string and then we have to check if the string is equal to this European. Once we hit the European, we know we're done with the Japanese games. So what essentially what I did is, while string of X does not equal to the European tag, what we're going to do is we're going to use the next method on X, um, assign this uh, new result, this new tag to X, and we're going to continue this until we uh, hit this uh, Europe, uh, H3 Europe, header 3 Europe. We're not going to append the the element, but we're going to append the elements text to the to the list. So we're going to append the elements text and not the element itself. So I'm going to run this code so that we can get rid of this. And I'm going to run this code and you'll see that it um, append list has uh, actually a lot of the info that we need. Okay. So 720 and it holds Dragon Ball holds farming simulator, so it holds all the games for 720, then we get to 721, hold the games. Now there's a lot of repetition and we can take care of that. 727 and it has all the games associated with 727, then 824 and all the games associated with that, and 831, and then we get to Europe. So we can actually just get rid of these last two elements. That's not a problem. Alright, so now the thing we need to do is um, we need to get rid of these uh, the duplicate. And I actually just pulled this code out from, I found it from Stack Overflow. And this is one of the, uh, I guess, the best ways to get rid of duplications from a list while maintaining the order of the list. So I tried this out and it works. Um, it, it essentially works perfectly. Uh, let me just uh, run this again. I want to see. Okay, so we want to get rid of the last two items. Right, Europe and Europe. Okay, so we want to get rid of the last two items. So let's see. So instead of negative one, we're going to run this to negative two. All right, so this code, um, I'm not really gonna go into it because uh, I just copied it from Stack Overflow, but it's from collections. You import order dict and you, uh, you're making the order dict a list. So order dict dot from keys and you're putting in the append list which we created and then we're creating a list out of that. And for uh, for i in list, we're going to pr uh, print out the i item. So let me just run this. As you can see, it looks perfect. Um, 720, which is uh, July 20th. These are all the games associated with July 20th. July 21st, all the repetition is gone. So essentially, we're just printing out the list. We got rid of the uh, the repetition from the list, and then we're just printing out each item from the list. So I'll just run this code so you can see. Uh, I'm going to copy this, paste this. 
All right, so a pin list looks something like this. Um, a lot of repetition. Now, if we run this code, order list, order dict from keys, a pen list, blah, blah, blah. It uh, cleans out all of the repetition. And then all we did was after cleaning out the code, getting rid of the repetition, all we did was uh, print out each element because remember, everything is in order. And printing out each element, we got this uh, clean output. Now, I'm not going to do this for uh, the European portion, but it's the same thing I did with the uh, Japanese portion. You guys can do the same thing and just repeat this code to extract the, uh, the European portion. All right, so that's it for this video. Um, I will see you guys next time. I'm planning to make a video on regular expressions, so that's probably the next stuff I'm going to release. All right, thank you and have a good day.